Hi everybody, welcome back to Call of Duty's Warzone Battle Royale and in this video I want to look at what are the best ways to parachute down or dive down so you can either hit the ground fastest or travel the furthest or a combination of the two and some of these you'll kind of have a feel for it from playing the game so much but if you're new to the game um, this may well be quite instructional so the first thing is if you want to hit the ground fast you know just as soon as you jump from the plane look straight down and you'll hit the ground in approximately 14 seconds um, the trick for a really fast landing as well is when your chute pops cut it straight away and then drop a little bit more then pop your chute before you hit the ground otherwise you kill yourself and that way you'll, you'll get to the ground pretty quick now if you just jump out from the plane um, but um, don't pop your chute until it does the auto pop right at the end you'll travel about 500 and 40 meters um, and you'll be in the air for about 19 seconds which gives you a horizontal speed of approximately about 28 meters per second um, which is which is you know you're hitting the ground pretty fast and you've traveled a far distance obviously you, you're gonna be hot like with a straight down dive um, there's gonna be people all around you but if that's what you want to do that's an, a good way of doing it now this is the one that was probably the most surprising for me if you jump from the plane and pop your chute as soon as you can and then aim down so you, you press the top right shoulder button I think it's top right so that you go into third person view and angle your character so the, the chute is at a steep angle you can actually travel a really long way you can travel well I traveled over 1600 meters and I had to actually cut my chute because I was coming to the edge of the map and I was in the air for, for about 92 seconds which is about a minute and a half so my horizontal speed was only 17.5 meters per second but I traveled an awful long way and using this 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 method basically you can get anywhere on the map um, it doesn't really matter unless the flight path was along the coast along the bottom you might not be able to get all the way up to the military base but you'd probably get there so that's the steep parachute um, angle that you pop as soon as you can um, so I was very impressed with that. Now, if you do the shallow angle, so if you go into the third person view and pull back so you're only just coming down a bit, you can travel a long way. I mean, I travelled about 1,500 metres in this in this test, but I was in the air for uh, you know, 130 seconds, which is over two minutes. You, you start to lose all horizontal speed. You've got to be careful. So I was only travelling at about 11.5 metres per second. And I wasn't gaining that much over the steep dive, but I was losing an awful lot in terms of, well, I didn't travel as far and I wasn't going as fast. So avoid that shallow shallow parachute. You don't want to be doing that. You always want to be going steep. Now, the good combination of the both is if you do the combination dive and shoot. So what you do with this is as soon as you can, as soon as it lets you, you pop your shoot. And then what I was doing in this test was I was... Um, having my chute open for five seconds, cutting it for three, so it's going uh, open, right, one, two, three, well, one, two, three, four, five, cut, one, two, three, pop shoot, one, two, three, four, five, cut, one, two, three, pop shoot, one, like that. I suppose it was a little bit more, it's probably more like four seconds and two seconds. Now, by doing that, I still covered almost 1,300 meters but I was only in the air for about 60 seconds so my horizontal speed was 21 meters per second which is pretty fast so I was covering a lot of ground quickly um, and then I, and I could hit the ground and start looting now using this method um, lots of people do the combination of cutting uh, the chute and diving and then popping it um, you'll still land probably reasonably hot if you're going to a, a popular place, you know, a named place on the map. But if it's not quite so popular, you'll probably be by yourself. Um, and so I would say, you know, that, that's that's a good compromise. So the thing that came out of this kind of testing for me was that if you want to go far, use the, use the um, parachute but at the steep angle because that will give you an awful lot of distance at a reasonable speed so you'll only stay in the air for about a minute and a half if you want to travel all the way to the map edge of the map if you just want to get away from the flight path to slightly less popular areas then definitely do the combination of the dive and then cut the chute pop the chute cut the chute pop the chute that 
all, all the way down. And obviously, when you're doing the shoot bit, you want to be pushing forward to have the to have the steep shoot. To do it that way. And what you w really want to avoid is the shallow angle parachute drop because you lose almost all um, horizontal momentum and you end up just kind of kind of floating down. So there we go. Give them a go. Give those techniques a go. Hopefully this has been useful. Um, and uh, if you've got any questions about parachute dropping, stick them in the comment section down below. If you've joined the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Thank you very much, and I will see you again soon.